We are people with and without learning difficulties and we're working together um, and we support people to hear and respect and empower people with learning difficulties and autism. And we promote positive action to challenge negative um, attitudes about disability. Uh, and we offer quite a range of things within BMIX, uh, everything from working in a cafe, music and arts projects, courses, one-to-one -one support with life choices, self-advocacy, transforming care. Uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about today was our supported internship programme. Uh, so in a supported internship, it's a one-year educational programme. Uh, so instead of going to college, it's because a young person who has got an education, health and care plan is ready to go into the world of work and employment. So we, so we function like a supported employment provider. We provide specialist support both to employers so that employers can understand how to support young people um, and how to adapt their own working processes, but also to support the young people as well to settle into the workplace, get as independent as possible, and then we start taking a step back. So the aim very much is that the young person gets a paid job at the end of the programme with us. So instead of a qualification, they get paid work. And that leads to greater independence, you know, being part of the local community, uh, meeting their own goals and aspirations. Um, so that's that's in essence what supported internship program is. And we work with a range of employers. So we very much job match. We look at the individual young person and we look at what they want to do and then we look at the employers. We work a little bit like a recruitment agency in that sense that we match the right candidate with the right opportunity. Right. Great, brilliant. And are you a charity or a for-profit making organisation? No, so we are a community interest company um, and we're also what's called a special post-16 institution. Um, so yeah, so we're like a little mini college, but a mini specialist college. Right, right, great. Well, and that, that's great. So what, uh, so you just work with a range of employers across we do we absolutely do i've got a video that i wanted to show you all and it's just an introduction into supported internships and i think that sort of speaks volumes recruiting loyal and committed staff can be a real challenge we'd like to propose something new our supported internship program is a completely free service it's been designed to help employers like you access a largely untapped local workforce of people that have learning difficulties and or autism who, importantly, want to work. These young adults are keen to prove their value to you whilst gaining experience in the workplace and developing the skills to become a successful employee. At BMIX, we're experts in our field. Getting to know you, your business, and your specific staffing needs is essential so we can find the right people for you. Our relationship is very simple. There are no costs or contracts between us or between you and your unpaid intern, as they're still classified as a student and are fully funded. Nor do you have to guarantee the intern a paid job at the end of their placement. However, if their placement has been a success, we ask that you consider them for any suitable available roles in your organisation, which is, of course, a winning scenario for everyone. We're committed to positive outcomes and will support your business and the candidate throughout their placement to ensure a great experience for everyone. We'll take care of all the paperwork, risk assessments and set goals for the intern. We'll also provide a work coach who'll accompany them and be on hand to support you and your intern throughout the working day for as long as they're needed. Don't just take our word for it, you'll be in good company. Our experience of having an intern has been a really positive one. Uh, we've helped raise awareness of autism and Asperger's through training through BMIX and seeing Sam emerge as an individual has been really um, pride filling. You get that swell in your heart uh, when you see him smiling when he got his job offer. Um, it was a really proud moment for us all. From our experience, organisations with a diverse workforce benefit from higher productivity and staff morale levels. So what's not to love? Contact us now to find out how we can support your business. That visual as well gives you an indication of the sort of um, support we, we provide and the range of employers we work with. But uh, I wanted to hand over to Rob really, because Rob can speak sort of from first-hand experience about his journey into BMIX and the world of work. Um, so over to you, Rob. 
Yeah, I, I gave like a little brief synopsis at the start, and you even got to see my employer and stuff. And when I had white hair, that was. <laughs> but, Don't yeah, worry, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone's kind of shocked that I've got short hair now. But um, <laughs> but um, yeah, everything I said sort of at the start. But like, yeah, it was really interesting finally moving into this industry because, for the most part, as I said, not go leaving school without any qualifications that mattered I was pretty sure that my passion to be an artist just wouldn't be realized I was looking at retail job because that's as far as I was concerned that's as far as I was going to and they were looking for anyone so they were able to hire an apprenticeship and it did take a lot of push and pull from me just because at the start I did have low confidence just because I really did think that I wasn't suited for this, but they, but through BMX and Zest, they were able to help bring me up, get me into a position where I'm kind of environment, and now I'm at a uni course where I've been accepted on to doing a bachelor's on a degree course in computer animation arts. So, wow. So yeah, if you asked me four years ago where I'd be working, I probably You've really uh, been able to fulfil some of your uh, ambitions. <coughs> and that's great. Yeah. Really have, and it's a lot of it is thanks to BMix for just giving that opportunity. Because Zess even admitted that if I was to walk in by myself, I probably wouldn't have got the job. Great. No, that's that's really good. That's really good. Well, Thank you're you. um, yeah. So well done. Well, hopefully you'll be able to uh, sort of progress really well and and move forward into a career that you really want to. It's great yeah. news. Yeah. Well, you've, you've absolutely got what it takes, haven't you, Rob? You know, you try, you work hard, you've got passion, ambition, and that's, that's what everybody wants to yeah. see. Uh, and that's the most important thing that any young person can bring into an employer yeah. um, is the want and the drive to be there and to do the best they can and to learn, because we all learn, don't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you look happy enough, Robert. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> done so well uh, so what, what our ask really is we want to um, we're looking for businesses in Medway and Swell who are as passionate as we are to, to provide these opportunities for young people to go into the world of work and to learn um, and we want to have more success stories like Rob's um, we have a lot of our young people that go into paid jobs um, and what's really quite wonderful is it it allows the employer as well to learn. So we support, we give disability awareness training, we get mentoring, advice, support and guidance. We're there on hand throughout the academic year. So any needs that the employer has, as well as the young person, we're there to support and guide. Um, and it opens up their doors to a range of other people coming into the workplace, not just our students. And what that does is it really it gives us a snapshot of the local community with every employer. Uh, and that's what we want to see. We want to see the local community reflected in local businesses. Um, so what we're asking is for any employers that are interested in working with us, finding out a little bit about more about our programme, if they can come onto our website. So I just wanted to um, uh, share another screen, if I may. I'm going to get it onto the right screen to start with. Um, and uh, that, that's got the link to, to the website. Um, so if I go onto that straight away. Um, Bear with me. And this is where my other colleague, Mark, is just so much better placed than myself to do these things. Here we go. So it's at www.bmix.org forward slash employers. Um, just letting you know, in this new academic year coming up, we've got 32 young people coming onto the programme in Medway. Um, and we've got a range of employers uh, that are already sort of lined up to work with us. So at the moment, we've got um, sort of 29 provisionally uh, lined up to work with us. But we tend to want to have more than the number of young people we have. So if it's not the right placement, they can always move between placements as well. Where do you get your referrals from? Uh, so we get them from the, either the local authority or we get them from schools and colleges. So we work with 16 to 24 year olds. They've all got education, health and care plans. So they've all got high support needs. Um, and sometimes we get them from the young people and parents directly. So if they've heard of us or they come onto the website, 
and then we have to consult with the local send teams to be named providers. Uh, so it's, it's unfortunate. Um, do you do any work and looked after children? Yes, yes. So we have looked after children that come onto the programme. The main criteria is they have to have an education, health and care plan. And that means they need to be between 16 and 24. But the most important thing is they got to want to work because we're putting them into real opportunities with paid employment. So when we have our referral process with the young people, you know, we do talk to them quite a lot, you know, to find out, you know, with regards to their work preparation, work preparedness, you know, are you going to commit, are you going to come in, positive attitude. I always sound really old because I'm like, you've got to have a can-do attitude, but it's true, you know, they've got to go in there, show the employers that they're willing to do the work, and if they do, just like Rob, you can go so far, and you can learn so much, and then when you get more confident, the doors that open for you are just unbelievable, and we see that so much with our young people, and that, that gives us a lot of job satisfaction as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, Rob, how, did, how long did it take you before you were easily jumping out of bed every morning to go into work? Uh, it was actually really quick and stuff because obviously I want to make a good impression and stuff. <laughs> good. And, um, and it was also just the idea of working in a design agency. I, I can't stress enough how little I thought I was going to go far because although the school I went to mentally brought me back up. Yeah. But practically, they didn't give me any tools, any qualifications, yeah. or like yeah. any actual way to move forward in the world yeah. that I wanted to. But I get that. But BMix has been able to take that and make something out of it, which is which really helps. And I've seen this all over with students and stuff. So like students that go in really just do think that they're not going to go far, and they just think. Oh, this is it. How have you coped with lockdown? Uh, I've been coping really well and stuff. I think little meetings like this just make it a lot easier to manage. Yeah. But, um, yeah, but over the lockdown period, I was doing a bit of uni work and stuff, and I've received an unconditional yeah. offer on to next year. Brilliant. Which is fantastic. Great, and great. Look, and, and, what, and what university is that via or college? Oh, uh, it's UCA Rochester, so... Oh, yeah, 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 very good. Oh, great. Oh, well, that is very handy. And local as well, so hopefully when we get back to normal, you can, um, well, when we start to travel and meet in person again. I bet yeah. you're looking forward to that now, really, aren't you? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to finally being able to move on from lockdown, because it has yeah. been odd and... Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the biggest challenges for BMX moving forward because a lot of employers will probably be a bit more hesitant about bringing people on just in case it's like a second wave. But we're yeah. we're really good. We they've been able to do it before, so they'll certainly yeah. do it again. No, yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, that's great. Well, it's lovely to hear about your story, Rob. Thank and, you. And uh, I wish you all the very best of luck for the future. And uh, well done with your <laughs> offer. But for next year and um keep up the keep up the hard work and remember what helen has been telling you <laughs> yeah and also thank you kelly for um hearing hearing my story and stuff as well it means a lot for someone like you to hear someone like me out so was there like a Sorry, no, i'm having my roof done at the moment you see so uh -huh. someone's just dropped a load of stuff on my conservatory roof that's what the noise well, was so apologies <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's anything, my brother's gone out cycling, so I'm half expecting him just to walk through that door and stuff. <laughs> and be like, what are you doing, Rob? <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, you know, you know, sort of going into work gives you so much more, you know, I think. Um, you know, just, you know, you learn loads in the workplace about people, about maybe what you're interested in, what you're good at, what you didn't know you were good at, but you, you know, and there's so many things and you never know sort of new doors open her horizons change um and you hopefully you earn a little bit of money as well in the in in, in the process which has always yeah. got to be a good thing um so um great it's all about how we're funded by the ESFA and um, because it's a supported internship and because they are high needs uh, young people um with they require specialist support 
um, and that's the difference between us and I would say a regular internship. It, there is a requirement there in order for them to be able to gain work outcomes. The employer does need a lot of um, yeah. education support as well. And we put in place reasonable adjustments or step-by-step -step processes, breakdowns, a uh, lot of support for the employer yeah. as well. Yeah. It's a big, a big commitment for any employer to take on an intern, whether it's a supported one or, 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 or yeah. not really. Um, but yeah, no, that's great. That's great. Oh, brilliant. Oh, wow. Well. Um, yeah, yeah. Nice, to hear, nice to hear from you, Rob, and good luck for the future, my dear. Yeah, and again, thank you for hearing me out, Kelly. It means a lot. Oh, no worries at all. No worries. Um, thank you for your time. Enjoy, hopefully you can go and enjoy some sun this afternoon now. Oh yeah, it's scorching out today. I'm going to be sunbaked. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's great. Well, lovely to meet you, Helena. And Thank uh, you. Yeah, please Thanks. feel free to send over yes. some more stuff to my office and that would be great. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Really appreciate your time.